<laughs> Welcome to the Tonight Show, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Jimmy Fallon. That is The Roots right there. And uh, welcome to our show. Yeah. <clears throat> it's interesting. You guys got uh, a lot more, <laughs> lot, <laughs> lot more applause. Well, that's all right. We'll fix it in post, right? <laughs> well, uh, let's get to some news, guys. A lot of people are talking about President Trump's press conference in the Rose Garden yesterday. Things went pretty off the rails. If you didn't see it, here are some highlights. I'll let, I'll let you be the judge. If we did half the testing, we'd have half the cases. If we did another, you cut that in half, we'd have yet again half of that. So Joe, Bi <laughs> Joe Biden wants to end school choice, abolish what? educational standards, abolish in the suburbs. You're going to abolish the suburbs with this. Tens of thousands of bridges are in disrepair and on the verge of collapse. Well, it's probably not a right number, but we have bridges that should have been fixed. <laughs> yeah. Ten, tens of thousands. Look, it's probably not a right number. Why would I even say a number? 100, 150 million bridges. Uh, usually when you see something like that on TV, it ends with a voice saying, it's time to ask your doctor if Abilify is right for you. Seriously, if that were a wedding toast, the groom would have wrestled the mic away after 10 seconds. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sit down! Uh, the son was listening, like, hey, don't blame the heat. This is all him. I, didn't, I had nothing to do with this. Uh, normally, when a 74-year-old man spends an hour yelling in his garden, his family's like, time to go look at some homes for Grandpa. <laughs> look, I'll just say it. Trump hasn't been the same since he stopped drinking bleach. All right? I'm not... <laughs> yeah, well, I'm... Instead of a press conference, people said it was more like a campaign rally in front of 20 people. In other words, it was just like Tulsa. Oh. 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 Too soon. Oh. Too soon. I stunk. I float like a butterfly, but sting still. Stings. I still sting. Sting a little bit. That's the famous slogan. Fly like a butterfly, but I still sting a little bit, though. Be careful. Just be careful. Uh, meanwhile, the Biden campaign responded and called the press conference a sad affair. Trump defended himself, yelling, fake news, all my affairs have been happy. Oh. Well, most of them, most of them. I don't know if you guys have been following this, but there has been a call to boycott Goya Foods after their CEO praised Trump last week. So last night, Ivanka Trump decided to show her support for the company. And, well, let's take a look at this. Yeah. Sadly, after Ivanka tweeted in Spanish, Trump immediately had her deported. Oh. I'm not sure if Ivanka is trying to promote Goya or she's auditioning to be a model on The Price is Right. A new car! A new jet ski! Uh, I live in Kansas. <laughs> you still gonna want that jet ski. Trump saw that and was like, why is Ivanka holding Don Jr.'s inheritance? Uh. But it didn't stop there, because after Ivanka's tweet went viral, Trump tweeted this morning to also show his support for Goya. He wrote, Goya Foods is doing great. The radical left smear machine backfired. People are buying like crazy. Americans are like, we're buying canned food like crazy because we're living in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? But Trump wasn't done yet, because this afternoon he posted this photo on Instagram. Take a look. Yeah. Even weirder, the caption was, great meeting with my cabinet. What does that mean? <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> we have a raging pandemic on our hands, and he's practicing for supermarket sweep. Um, I think those are Trump's four major food groups, bags, bottles, cans, and boxes. <laughs> well, uh, at least that's one Mexican wall Trump's managed to build. <laughs> Is he the president or a divorced dad checking out at a Publix? See a couple cans of beans and uh, <clears throat> some chocolate cookies. The shield's not coming back. <clears throat> Guys, as health officials are trying to find out as much as they can about the virus, the White House announced a new way pandemic data should be handled. I'm not sure this is the answer. Listen to this. The Trump administration is ordering hospitals to send patient data to Washington, D.C. before the actual CDC. So remember that next week when Trump announces that there are zero new cases. You're welcome. There's no more cases. Here's the data right here. Where's my hurricane sharpie? There you go. Cross it out. Zero cases. I did good. Now bean me. <laughs> 
some businesses uh, are also taking their own measures to help stop the spread of the virus. Walmart will start requiring masks for shoppers at all of its stores starting next Monday. Yep, Walmart will require customers to wear masks, but they're still pants optional. <laughs> also, if you try to walk in without a mask, prepare to be clotheslined by an 85-year-old greeter. Oh, here comes the thunder. <laughs> You broke my arm. <laughs> a spokesman for Walmart was like, uh, listen, this is Walmart. You should have been wearing a face mask this entire time. Come on, man. And the virus isn't only affecting the retail industry. The entertainment world is also having to make some tough decisions. Survivor will not return with a new season this fall. The show was supposed to shoot in March, but stopped because of the pandemic. Ah, that's my favorite show, man. That's a bummer. But honestly, it's fine, considering we're all pretty much living through one giant episode of Survivor. <laughs> so for anyone keeping track, the pandemic is too dangerous for the Mogi Pucha tribe to stay on their island, but it's fine for kids K-12 through to go back to school. What are you talking about, man? Too soon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do, I gotta do like a physical bit if the joke tanks. Yeah, no, I love that, man. You thought you guys pretty good? Uh, yo, you should do a physical bit always. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> uh, and finally, guys, I heard uh, that Hallmark just launched a line of Christmas themed wines that are available for pre order now. Seems a bit early to me, but I don't know. Check out this ad Hallmark released. We here at Hallmark know you've been cooped up for a while now. And that's why we're already thinking about bringing you some joy this holiday. Hallmark's Christmas wine is available for pre-order, so get your bottle to... Sold out. Oh, uh, well, that, uh, that went fast. But don't worry, we're also launching our brand new Valentine's Day wine. Available for pre-order... Sold out. Wow, really? Well, good thing there are plenty of holidays to celebrate <laughs> with our St. Patrick's Day wine. Sold out. Our Arbor Day wine. Sold out. Our New Year's Eve 2026 wine. Sold out. Nope. Good God. Okay. I think I need a drink. Sold out. Of course it is. Hallmark Wines. Just put your name on the wait list. Uh, uh -huh.